In other games, they call it spawning. But in the immersion of Star Citizen, I'd like to think of it as renewable resources. So let's take a look at FPS mineables and see if they are a renewable resource. Now I got suspicious about something a few weeks ago when I was out mining. I had noticed that, and I'm sure everyone else has, after you gather up those FPS surface mineables, you're left with this little thing. Why is any object we don't understand always called a thing? In the ground. I don't know what it is, but it seemed a little odd to me. It doesn't leave a thing in the ground when you gather up the big rocks with the prospector. And I started wondering, do these things actually maybe respawn in the same spot they did before? And I've had people ask that. If a, once a cave is mined out, do they respawn? Things like that. But I really wanted to investigate and dig into this a little bit farther. So while I was out mining, I found this really nice patch of minerals on the surface. This rubble field. There were 13 of these things all together and all had night. I mined them all out, and I started really thinking that if these little nodes did respawn them again, it'd be nice to be able to come back to this exact same spot and mine them. So I tested it out. I left. I went and did some other mining. I gathered some other rocks. I broke down big rocks, gathered other gems, and came back to this same spot. I had taken notice of a couple triangulation points to where this was, and I was able to find this spot again. And it, sure enough, these things were actually in the act of respawning. Part of the nodes, part of the minerals had respawned on the little pads left behind for spawning, and the others had not. So I pulled out my mining tool and tried to mine them, but unfortunately, it wouldn't register them as a rock that I could mine. So I thought, well, maybe the whole field has to respawn before I can mine any of them. So I left again. You're going to leave here without them? And came back, but they still wouldn't register as something that I could mine. The multi-tool just wouldn't pick them up, which left me with questions. Do they respawn, but once a character has mined them, is that it? Can you no longer mine that exact same spot again? Are you somehow locked out from that? Maybe you can mine them yourself, but it takes a lot longer than just them spawning. Maybe a considerable amount of time needs to pass before you can actually go back and mine them again, even though they've appeared. And even a further question of, will this same rubble field on the surface reappear if I leave the server instance and log back in randomly at another time? Or are these things just randomly generated over time, once they're mined, they're gonna spawn somewhere else, or they spawn in different places on different servers, something like that. So further testing was needed. On a totally different week, I got back into the prospector, went back to this same location that I'd made note of, and went to go find that little rubble field. And I found it, just like I had left it, all 13 nodes sitting there. So I mined them out. Now came the test, what was gonna happen? Would they respawn with me here waiting? So I just waited. When a little over an hour had passed, sure enough, four of the rocks popped into place right in front of me. It was pretty awesome, but they all weren't there, so I waited a little longer. And three more popped in. So I tried to test and see if I could mine any of these that had spawned in, see if I could mine them up, but no, the multi-tool would not detect them as a mineable rock at all. So I waited. And three more popped in. And I tested it again, and I still couldn't mine again. So I waited. And finally, about an hour and 45 minutes after I'd first started mining the original time, the last three spawned in. So I tried to test it. I tried to mine. 
and I still couldn't mine them. The multi-tool just wasn't detecting them as any kind of rock that was mineable. So it didn't seem like a glitch or something from the first time I had had this phenomenon. I still couldn't mine these things. But sometimes, patience is a virtue. So I waited. An hour passed, and I tried it again, and it still wouldn't mine. So I waited. And another hour passed, so I tried it again, and it still wouldn't mine. But at this point, I decided there's no sense in waiting any longer. It had been almost four hours since I had first started mining this original patch. And I decided that I had waited long enough. If they were going to be mineable by me again, right now, it would have already happened. Probably. But there was still more testing to do. What would happen if I logged out and came back in? Maybe it's not a time thing. Maybe it's something else. Maybe it's just me, right now, not being allowed to mine these nodes. It's me. So I used the gameplay to my advantage. I climbed in my prospector, and I went to sleep. When I woke up, I got out, and I tried to mine them again. And lo and behold, this time, success. I was able to mine these things again. So it probably wasn't a time thing. It was just something having to do with the fact that I was there in the game and it wasn't allowing me to mine the same node twice. At least not without some sort of turnover of me in the game. So as happy as I was about this actual result, I realized that my experiment school project was a little flawed. I hadn't stabilized and I probably couldn't stabilize all the other variables that were playing into this experiment. I am a scientist on an important mission. It was unlikely that I had logged back into the exact same server instance that I had left. It was probably a different instance. This was probably, or could have been, a completely different rubble field. Yes, I could still mine it, but my answers actually left me with more questions. What about the original rubble field that I had mined out and had respawned in front of me? What about that? I may never know what happened to my original rubble field. But I am happy about what happened. The only thing I could possibly think to do might be in the future to gather up with someone else where I knew that I would respawn back into the same server instance to see if me logging out and logging in was the key to actually resetting this. My partner would be on the ground, waiting outside of the ship. I would go into the ship, go to sleep, come back. You get the picture. I had even wondered what if, after I mined all the nodes, what if a friend came immediately behind me after they spawned? Could he mine all of the nodes? Like I said, the answers invoked more questions. And it made me realize there could be a lot of gameplay behind this. Similar to maybe Jump Town, where someone camps a set of nodes and defends it, and they oscillate around amongst a group of people FPS mining this area. Maybe it'll happen with the caves, and some other folks have to come in and eradicate the campers in the cave. Could actually be a lot of fun. It was cool that I had discovered that these things actually do respawn though. That was the main point. And I'll probably do something with this in the future, almost certainly. I wondered if noting a location of these mineables and coming back to it over and over again might be an exploitation, which I really don't like to do. But after thinking about it, I decided that it wasn't. In the real world, a pocket of minerals, maybe a pocket of aquamarines, you're gonna dig those things out and have to leave to be able to sell them. The day is long, the day is over, and then you're gonna come back and you're gonna mine some more and you're gonna dig more out of the pocket and leave and go sell those for the day and keep coming back to the same area until it's exhausted. Now these areas may not at this point become exhausted like in the real world, but that concept of it's more than just a one-time shot actually seemed reasonable to me. And to some extent, maybe I was justifying, but I thought when data trading comes into the game, this could actually be a real thing, where you sell the location of a particularly rich set of these surface mineables. That would actually be really great gameplay, give something for the Herald to do. 
Lastly, if you've been following my channel, you know how happy I am about its growth. And to celebrate that, I'm giving away a gray cat. Yes, it's just a gray cat, but it's a pretty cool little ground vehicle. And being smaller than the Cyclone and shorter than the hover bikes, it fits into a lot more ships. And you can actually make a little bit of money with this thing. I've got a video out about that, or I've actually used it to help myself and do things and increase the economy. Maybe you can even use it to carry the harvestable boxes with FPS mining. Who knows? If you'd like a gray cat, just type in the word gray cat to any of the videos I publish, including this one, between now and the end of November, and I'll be doing the drawing at the beginning of December. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you like what you saw, and I'll be talking to you later.